Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another small fighter, and this one which I'm currently using is called the Gatlord Barracuda, which is a small block fighter designed to fight in a arena with a whopping 14 Gatling guns to blast your enemies with. I also found another skybox, which is very nice, very pinky, very red colours all the way around in the depths of the workshop, so there'll be a link to that in the description if you do wish to download and see that. But yes, for the ship itself, pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, the Gatlul Barracuda is 634 small blocks using the Heavy Industry and Warhead 2 DLC packs. We can see here that it states it's 14 Gatling guns and it's got some great fuel storage, and it was made for essentially a Space Engineers Fight Club. So we're just going to give this thing a thumbs up, move around towards the very front, we'll have a quick look around the outside, then we'll fly around for a bit. I'll try and find some space pirates. There are some around here because I keep seeing their Mayday signal. So we'll go and shoot that and see how well we can handle it. Anyway, at the very front, this is what we get for the Cat Lord. So front and center, we've got ourselves a spotlight to light up the darkness. Then we see some lovely yellow and white steel blocks. We've got a fighter cockpit to drive this thing around and we can see one hell of a lot of Gatling guns to blast our enemies with. The Gatling guns on the side have been set up in a rather peculiar fashion because they're on merge blocks. Almost like you could, in an emergency, just ditch these guns on the side and say if you want to fly through a tight area or your wings got damaged, you can just lighten and load a little bit and maybe just squeeze through a gap. But turning the attention back to the main body, there's some more Gatling guns with some great use of our armored panels acting as fins along the front there, and there's the first of many hydrogen thrusters around this ship. Round onto the side with the detachable Gatling guns, we've got some great use of our hinge block just acting as an ammo belt. Round onto the side, there we go. Then towards the back of the ship, even more hydrogen thrusters. Then round behind our Gatling guns on the wings, that's how that's been set up, so we can easily access that cargo container on the side to manually load it up, because it is not connected up to the main body of the ship, so like I said earlier, they are rather disposable. But coming to the very rear of the ship, this is what's going to push us around. So we've got two large hydrogen thrusters, we can see a couple of batteries, we see a connector underneath, and we've also got some heat vents that should light up when we fly this thing around. Moving all the way up and above, that is all we can see, so we can see the tops of our hydrogen tanks, there's some more thrusters, there's some more Gatling guns, there's some great use of our piston blocks or the piston heads, just covering up those connection points on top. Moving along in the middle, behind our fighter cockpit, we've got an antenna to make sure we can always find this thing, and then just dropping down and just below there, there we go, we can see a couple of gyroscopes to help move this thing around. If we were to drop down and come underneath it, this is all we can see, so there's some more Gatling guns, in fact, if I just aim it like that, that is almost all the Gatling guns right there, and that is a rather impressive sight, and very menacing to look at. But yes, there's the connector we saw at the back, there's some more hydrogen tanks, there's our thrusters, and there's the bottom of our heat vents, and our large hydrogen thrusters at the back. And there we go, that's a very brief look around the outside for the Gatlord Barracuda, and does look great with how it's all been set up. Very sleek design, almost like it could be a racing ship. And of course the firepower, I don't think I need to talk about that. It's just going to rip anything to shred. But you could run out of ammo very quickly if you're very trigger happy. But grabbing hold of my character, coming over to tab number one, these are the only controls we get. So number one, it's going to be to fire all Gatling guns all together. She's hiding that and coming across, firing it. There we go. That's one hell of a lot of shots. Was just to move all around and just drop myself in the middle. Yes, that's just going to tear anything apart in seconds, especially if it's made out of light armors, and especially if it's light armored small blocks, nothing is going to stand a chance. Number two is going to be to turn off one of our hydrogen thrusters at the back. Now, this is a very odd control, because originally I thought this is going to be a cruise control setting, but just switching that off, we just turn off one of our large hydrogen thrusters at the back there, which is almost like a sort of fuel conserving mode, in case you don't need it to maneuver around. Number six is to put our batteries to auto recharge. Number seven is then for our connector to lock and unlock it. Number eight is for our antenna on and off. And then number nine is for our camera right next to our cockpit to help aim our guns forwards. And there we go. And that's pretty much it for the controls. I did see a melee signal come from over in this direction. And there is another part of the ship when I was testing it around. In fact, there's multiple parts of the ship. So I accidentally blew it apart when trying to refuel it. Anyway, moving forwards. This is the speed we get, we've got some nice speed with this, it's not the fastest ship I've ever flown, but it certainly is fast for only having two thrusters at the back. Coming to a stomp, that's what we get, it seems to be very balanced on the forwards and back, it doesn't really feel like I need to do a 180 to stop myself a bit quicker, but I will just check that, let's go all the way up to 100 meters per second, and just flip this all the way around and boost forwards, it does seem a little bit quicker than letting it stop naturally, 
but it has good enough stopping speed up by itself. There they are right there, she's going aimed straight towards them. Anyway, moving left, there's where we get some fantastic speed with that. You don't normally see great left and right speed on small fighters. It's usually the forwards and the up and down. It's come to a stop. There we go, that's fantastic with that. Moving down. Then moving up. Moving up feels a lot faster than moving down. But at the end of the day, every single direction around the ship is very, very quick. And then of course for the gyroscope controls, we did see when we did 180. But there we go with that. It's got a nice sort of control over this. It has a tiny bit of weight to stop it feeling very floaty. And it's generally what I prefer when it comes to a ship. It's got that little bit of meat to it, so it actually feels like you're moving a ship around. But now what I can do to finish this off, in fact I actually saw them up there, they flash for a second, is to find the Space Pirates. We'll fly over to them and start blasting them. And here we are, this is the Space Pirate Mayday Signal, and this is all it is. It's just a wreckage of a ship, but it looks like there is a Gatling Gun on top. I'm not sure if it's going to be active or not, it usually is. We're going to get within the range, within 800 meters, and then start blasting with all 14 Gatling Guns to see the damage we can deal. There it is over there, and now we should be able to shoot all the way forwards. It's going to be a little bit wobbly, but there's the hit marker. I'm not actually sure if we can kill it from here. I think the spread of this is going to be too big, and the ship is wobbling a lot while firing. That is a very odd thing. I never noticed that before. The Gatling Guns actually do have some kind of force behind it. Look at that. We're actually moving backwards. So in theory, if you had enough Gatling Guns strapped to a ship, you could make a reverse thrust, or even thrust around space with Gatling Guns. We'll move it a bit closer. I don't want to get within 600 because that will be their engaging range. As I said at the start of the video, you will have to be very careful in a proper scenario because you will burn through ammo like no tomorrow. But I think it will just get a bit closer. We'll move up just a bit. Look at all of them go. Well, wow, that's actually rather magical to look at. There we go again. And we're just going to shoot it straight forwards. I have a feeling the spread on this is going to be the downfall of this ship. There is a Gatling Gun, that's now going to engage, so we'll have to get a bit closer, hopefully I can disable it in time, there's all their shots, and there goes their Gatling Gun. Just zooming out of there, coming to third person view, there we go. But yes, as I was saying, the sheer spread on this is great for mass destruction, but when it comes to taking out a precise target like a turret, it seems to struggle greatly. As you saw how much ammo I just burned through there, despite having unlimited, that was a lot of shots just to take out one turret before it could engage me. Just looking around this wreckage, I don't think there's going to be anything else here. So what I'll do is just line myself up like so. There's all the red dots, and I'm just going to shoot straight into it. Let's see the damage you can deal. And that is just tearing away all of those blocks. Look at all that precious resources being annihilated in seconds. And as expected, it's going to tear ships apart very, very quickly. But that is pretty much it for the Gatlord Barracuda. It's a very nice small fighter. If you are looking for something for mass destruction in your world, There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download it and play around for yourself. Highly recommend you do, as well as a link to the Skybox I'm currently using. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.